Let's do some shopping. Oh, good idea. We can get something to make dinner for while we're at it. Give me a bit of time to get some things. A few minutes pass and Monica comes back. All set. Shall we go then? Yeah, let's go. Monica and I leave the house and make our way to the convenience store. The sun is already setting and the nights are a bit cold here, so we make sure we quickly get to our destination. After a while, we reach the store. Aw, oh, look at another great 3 model. This is fantastic. Dang, it's sure it's getting cold now. Yeah, I certainly prefer warm, we warm weather, but thinking about it, it makes the perfect cuddling weather. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same. To be honest, I think about in improving the skinship between us all the time. <laughs> Let's hurry and enter the store. Yeah. Monica and I proceed to enter the store. Oh, it's lovely. Welcome! I tend to visit this place every once in a while. However, this is my first time coming in here with Monica. Somehow, the atmosphere is completely different. Since it's so much night, there's no one else here that, besides us and the shop clerk. It makes me feel a bit anxious. However, I calm myself and talk to Monica. So, is there anything in particular you feel like eating for dinner? Hmm... I guess miso soup, rice, and some salad would be fine for me. I almost forgot for a moment that Monica's a vegetarian. I rarely cook any meat since it's a bit expensive, so thanks to that I haven't had any problems preparing things for the two of us. Monica says that she helps that she wants to help lower the carbon footprint in the planet, and since part of it's caused by the meat industry, she doesn't need any. I sort of get where she's coming from, so for now I'll avoid buying any meat. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go look for the ingredients then. Right behind you. We walk towards the ingredients section. Hmm. Miso soup. What is it made with? Again, my lame cooking skills make my life worse. You need miso, wakame, and enokitake, dashi, and tofu. Seems like she wasn't lying when she said she knows how to cook. Shamefully, I stare at the store items in silence for a few seconds. I'm a failure as a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you don't need to worry about that. Cooking, like any other skill, can be improved with practice and patience. If you ever feel like you messed up, don't give up. Keep experimenting, and eventually you'll get better. Nobody's born to be good at being good at anything, after all. And that was Monica's cooking tip of the day. <laughs> uh, all right. Even so, I think that it's better if you pick the ingredients. I don't want to try to show off in front of you and end up picking the wrong things. <laughs> better safe than sorry, huh? It's fine. While I pick them, you can learn how it's made. All right. Monica walks around the store looking for the ingredients. I tell her where each thing is, and then she hands them to me while she looks for the rest. Wakame, wakame. Oh, it's over here! Thanks! Eventually, we find all the necessary things. We then proceed to go and pay for everything. Thanks for your purchase! After having put everything in bags, Monica and I exit the store. Alright, let's go back! Yeah! As soon as we step outside, I feel a big chill running through my entire body. Right, it's gotten really cold now. Yeah, we should go back quickly. We might end up catching colds at this rate. Oh, yeah, give me the bags. The rice bags are quite heavy, and with your dress, it probably feels a lot colder. Oh, you're quite a gentleman. Monica hands me the rest of the bags. It's a bit heavy, but it's my duty as a boyfriend to have Monica enjoy herself. <gasps> Alright, let's go back to the house. I can't wait to feel warm again. Same here. We both walk back to the house. As we approach it, the temperature lowers even more, and the sun finally sets. Monica and I quickly enter the house. <sighs> this is certainly better. Warm temperature, she'll feel nice when it's cold outside. I second that. Shall we start preparing the dinner? Yeah! I put the bags in the kitchen and we start getting the ingredients out. Monica and I decide that she would be the one preparing the soup while I deal with the rice and salad. The fact that I'm doing the easy stuff bugs me out a bit. While doing my part of the food, I glance to see what Monica's doing. She has a pretty focused expression on her face. She almost looks like a professional. I can't help but wonder, how did such a girl like her decide to date someone like me? Me, I got completely lame to com compared to her. Maybe she did see something that I can't. We both finish preparing our portions of the food, and then we start serving ourselves. We then put everything on the table and sit down. Monica sits beside me. Monica looks at me with expectant eyes. It seems like she wants to see my reaction to her food. Oh, don't mind me. Go ahead. This is the first time that I've eaten Monica's cooking. I'm a bit excited about it. I finally taste the miso soup. 
It takes me a while to make up my words. I sit there staring bl blankly for a couple of seconds. This soup is incredibly good! At first glance, it looks like normal miso soup, but each ingredient perfectly harmonizes with each other, creating a perfect balance. So, how is it? How did you make it so good? Did you use some kind of sorcery? <laughs> it's a normal soup, actually. What? Seems like you don't believe me. No. They say food tastes better if it's made with love. And it tastes even better if it's made by the person that you love. I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> the rice and salad also tastes really good. Maybe you use some kind of sorcery. I'm not on that level yet. <laughs> We finish eating our food and start cleaning the leftovers. We, we begin by washing the dishes. You know, Jaden. Yes? This is the kind of life I've always wanted. Having a peaceful life and enjoying the time with the one I love. It's like a dream come true. Mmm. I wish I could be there with... Um. Um. One of these two. This one. As long as I'm with you, I'll always enjoy everything. However, I also want you to enjoy this. So make sure to be happy for the both of us. Anyway, it's nighttime already. We can go to sleep or just watch some TV. What do you want to do, Jaden? Let's watch some TV. Okay. Just give me a minute to change into my pajamas. Monica goes upstairs to my room once more. Meanwhile, I sit on the couch and turn on the TV. This makes me think. What could Monica possibly enjoy watching? She normally spends her time reading. I can probably find a movie that she'll find interesting. Monica comes back with her pajamas on. Ah, oh, she's so adorable. Look at it. Look at it. And of course her thick thighs exist, as the internet loves to point out. Here I am. Monica sits next to me. Hey, Jaden. Hmm. Let's turn off the lights. It'll feel more like a date that way. All right. I get up and turn the lights off. Oh man. Suddenly the TV is the only lighting in the whole room. I go back to the couch. Monica has relaxed herself a bit, having put her legs up on the couch and I sit next to her. Monica's already watching TV with the anime that I'd left on a few moments ago. The anime is about a group of girls who turn into school idols to save their school from closing down. Apparently it's very popular. There's a lot of merchandise and advertising about it in Akiraba. It's a rather easy show to get into if you don't watch too much anime. Monica's watching the TV with a rather interested expression. Huh. Monica likes anime. Who'd have thought? I never thought that an anime could be this interesting. Oh, well, there you go. I'm always more into reading. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, my. God, just look at her. And dang, this background though, with the reflection of the TV and the on the glass and through the glass. This oh man, they spend so much time on this. This is so good. This show seems like a lot of fun. What's with the character in that boo-boo? It'd be weird to hear someone say that in real life. <laughs> you could say that's her trademark feature. If I'm not mistaken, this episode has quite a nice insert song. Just wait a bit. Oh, let's see then. A few minutes go by. Eventually, the insert song comes up. Dance, dance to find a passion. I'm not going to try to sing this. We were probably born for this very purpose. Oh, it's starting! I really like this song, so it'll be interesting to see Monica's reaction to it. It surprises me just how well this song is made. The rhyme combines nicely into such different tempos. Must have been a lot of work for the composers. And the combination between traditional Japanese music and modern rock is amazing. It's such a beautiful harmony. I never knew how much creative effort goes into making this kind of thing. Seeing Monica make these comments, it reminds me that she actually knows a bit of music. She used to practice piano, and still does. Apparently she was composing her own song, but she never showed it to us. She showed it to me. I heard it. Yeah, I like this song a lot. Back when this episode was first released, a lot of people went crazy for it. I can see why. Hey, Jaden? Yes, Monica? Have you seen this show before? I, I have not, no. Oh, well, it's nothing weird. There's lots of anime coming out each season from what I know. I guess it's a bit difficult to follow each of them. <laughs> yeah, I have a list that I've been trying to keep up with and oh man, 
it you gotta binge a lot <laughs> to keep up nowadays man and I also didn't get into anime until not that long ago so I've had a lot of catching up to do do you watch anime too yep it's nice to know something new about you after watching this I came to realize how entertaining it can be I wish we could watch shows watch the shows that you like someday still this reminds me I told you once that I would love to spend a night on the couch together like this it sure is like a dream come true. I wish that this moment would last forever. But we still have lots of things we can do, don't we? We got a whole weekend, to sp a whole week to spend our time together. Let's make sure to go lots of places, okay? Roger that. <laughs> Again, I'm glad that I fell in love with you. Oh, man, Monica, right the feels. Oh, there's another insert song at the end of this episode. They sure put a lot of effort into this show. <laughs> yeah, these kind of shows tend to have a lot of music. <laughs> Seems like my kind of show, doesn't it? Oh man. Monica and I stay up late watching TV. It's already 11 p.m. and Monica looks a little bit tired. It's quite late already. We should go to bed. I didn't expect that these animes would be so entertaining. The way they make you care about the characters is amazing. I guess it's something special about Japanese media if you compare it to stuff like western shows. <laughs> but the important part is that you enjoyed it too. Yeah. Finding something we both enjoy feels really nice. We should try out more stuff together like this. If you're fine with it. Anyway, I'm starting to feel tired too. That was enough anime for today. <laughs> I never expected to Monica to find this anim anime this interesting. She told me that she preferred reading over watching anime a few times, but does make me happy. The more we find things that we can both enjoy together, the more my affection for her grows. But there's no way I can say that out loud. In the end, I'm still quite awkward about all this. It's my first time in a relationship after all. And the one who I'm the one I'm dating is Monica, our school's idol. We both go to my or should I say our room. Monica takes off her ribbon while I get into bed. She then gets into the bed as well. My bed's big enough for two people, so I generally sleep on the right side and avoid any movements that can bother, Mo bother Monica. Still not completely used to it, but it feels really nice. If anyone at our school outside from the literature club knew about this, I don't think I'd make it out alive. <laughs> oh man. Jaden? Hmm? I look over to Monica. She's looking at my face. Our faces are quite close like this. Good night! Monica says that with a sweet smile. Makes my heart skip a beat. I try my best and show an awkward and embarrassed smile. Good night. Monica smiles a little bit more. <laughs> she then turns around to the opposite direction. I call myself and then turn into my direction. Some minutes pass. I begin to feel more and more tired. Eventually, we both fall asleep. Sunday! Aw, oh, man. The question is, how long does this demo go? The world may never know. I don't know. Today's Sunday. Once more, I struggled to open my eyes for a bit. However, I remember something important. Today, I'm going on a date with Monica. In fact, this is the first time we're going on a date. I'm rather nervous. I feel a strange sensation, like something's not here. I decide to open my eyes. Monica? Monica's not in the bed. Seems like she woke up earlier than me. I get up. I can hear some movement coming from downstairs. It's most likely her, but... What could she be doing? She's making us breakfast, isn't she? Monica? Oh, Jaden, you're finally awake! Hey! What are you doing? I'm in charge of breakfast, remember? Oh, that's right. Monica said that she wanted to cook breakfast for the next three days. But... Why the next three days specifically? Oh right, I forgot. <laughs> you can go wash your face while I finish preparing this. Roger that. I go to the bathroom and wash my face. I take the chance to change in some different clothes too. After I'm done, I go back to the kitchen. I can already smell Monica's food from here. Judging by the smell, it's, I can tell it's something as good as last night's dinner. Ta-da! Take a seat. As I finally reach the kitchen, I'm greeted by a rather pleasant and weird surprise. The food that Monica prepared looks as delicious as I expected, but 
The one thing is that surprises me is she prepared some chicken along with it. The food consists of soup, rice, some tama tamagoyaki, and chicken. What's wrong? Oh, it's just... Aren't you a vegetarian? Yeah, but why is that important? It's just I didn't expect you to prepare chicken. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to worry. I may be a vegetarian, but I know that you're not. I won't try to force my beliefs onto you, and if I can prepare something that you'll like, then I'll be happy that way. Besides, I only prepared the chicken for you. Words escape me in this situation. True to her mature persona, Monica's willing to accept the differences between people, even if it goes against what she believes. She truly is an amazing person. I take a seat, and Monica does the same. I'm glad that you're like this. <laughs> oh, I finally eat the food. It's as delicious as expected. You always deliver! <laughs> Thank you! To be honest, I could eat your cooking all day. Cooking all day would be a little too much. But if it makes you happy, I guess I could manage it. <laughs> I can't have you dealing with it all day. I can help too, remember? Yep. This actually makes me think. Doing chores can be a pain. Yeah, but someone has to do them, right? Yeah, but have you realized that when you do it for someone else like this, it actually becomes entertaining? Like, I generally don't really like to cook too much because of the effort it requires, but when I cook for you, I suddenly get the urge to do lots of food. <laughs> I kind of understand that. Going shopping with you is also lots of fun. Even washing the dishes. I'm happy that you think that way. Anyway, today is a special day, remember? Yep. It's our first date. Yep. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> Me too. To tell the truth, I'm actually a bit nervous. I've never gone on a date with a girl before. Whenever I go to the city, it's usually to buy stuff buy stuff that I need or check out the new games. Luckily, this time I kind of have a plan. We'll go at 11, is that good for you? Yeah, I'll be ready by then. Alright. I checked out the cafe that Sayori recommended online. It's around the center of the city, so finding it shouldn't be a problem. Roger that. To get to the city, you can either take a bus or the train. The bus takes about 30 minutes, while the train only takes 10. But if you miss the train, the next one comes after an hour, while the bus passes by every 30 minutes. It's really hard to miss the train, so we'll take that. Monica and I finish eating our food, and again, we both wash, our, wash the dishes and clean the leftovers. You know, my ears are starting to hurt from the headphones. Oh, man. This is why I never used to wear headphones in any of my old videos, because my ears are so sensitive, and these headphones are a little on the small side. But, um, it definitely makes my microphone quality better. You can actually hear me, so... Oh, well. You know. Hmm. I was thinking that since we're going to the city, we could probably go to some other places. We'll have some spare time to go after the cafe. She has a point. Just going to a cafe would be a waste of time. Hmm. Do you have any other places you'd like to check out? Well... To be honest, I don't really know many places around the city. It's a bit weird. Don't worry, I'll look up some places online. We'll see where we can go. Alright! After washing the dishes, we clean for a bit and then watch TV on the couch for a while. It's 10.40 now. I'm ready for our date. Monica's almost ready to go. She finally comes back. Sorry for the wait. We can go now. Alright. We both exit the house. I close the door and lock it. The train station is about a kilometer away from the house. Usually simply walking is enough to get there. Monica seems rather happy about all this. After a few minutes, we finally reach the train station. Oh man, we got a train station too! Oh, man, the longer I play this, the more impressed I get by the effort that goes into this. There's so many new locations and... This is really impressive. The station seems to be quite empty today. It isn't surprising, considering the fact that most students just tend to laze around during the beginning of spring break. It feels quite refreshing to see the station this empty. It's just the two of us. It would be funny if the train were empty too. <laughs> Wanna bet? Oh, let's do it then. If it's empty, then you take me somewhere I decide. Alright, then if it's not, you pay for us two at the cafe. That's quite the punishment, but I'll accept it. Feels like I'm being hard on her, so... Even if I win, I'll still pay for us. It's 10.59, so the train should be here soon. And as expected, the train arrives a few minutes later. To my surprise, the train was actually empty. Seems like this is Monica's... Yay, it's my win! Win. 
Now, where should I have you take me? Please don't pick somewhere expensive. <laughs> Are you okay with the clothing store? She picked an expensive place. Well, if the reward is seeing Monica wear cute clothes, then I guess I can overlook it this time. Well, it is an expensive place, but if you insist, we can go. Yay! That's good. Monica's gonna get some new clothes. I'm excited. It may cost a lot of money, but seeing Monica smile, no amount of money in the world could buy that kind of satisfaction I'm feeling right now. After having said that, I realize sitting together alone in the train like this, it does make it feel like we're really having a date. Hmm, what's wrong? It's just, you're smiling. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about some stuff. There's no need to hide it. I'm also really happy to be able to go out like this. So let's make sure to go out even more. Maybe we could even go out every day. <laughs> That's a bit... You don't want to? With a face like that, how could I say no? To be honest, I want to go out as much as possible with her. Visiting different places, having fun together, so... Well, uh, we can go out whenever you want. Yay! But I'll leave it to you to decide when. Huh? Why? Uh, no reason. Uh, okay. Sometimes I don't understand what Monica's thinking. She tends to say stuff that a lowly brain like mine has trouble comprehending. She's the school star, after all. We spend the next ten minutes sitting in the train, occasionally talking about a few things. Then we finally reach the station. After walking for a pair of minutes, we reach the city center. Oh my good- Hey! There's Doki Doki up in the top right corner! And we got Battlefield- Oh man, look at all these. I could probably sit here for a while and pick out some references. I'm gonna leave the rest up to you, though. <laughs> the city is as lively as ever. People walking around the sidewalks and traffic is pretty usual. For some reason, Monica seems really excited. Hmm. I've always wanted to have a date like this. The city is such a wonderful place. There's just so many stores and places to go. Let's visit as many as we can. That's a bit... That was a joke. <laughs> but if you actually wanted to do it, then I'll gladly accept. Uh, okay. Phrasing on that is a bit weird, but Monica likes to play around and make jokes all the time. According to the map, the cafe should be a few blocks down this road. We can get there by walking in just a few minutes. Alright. You lead the way. The two of us begin walking towards the cafe. The city is full of stores and advertisements. In a way, it resembles Akirahaba, but it has its own atmosphere. Hmm. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about how this place kind of looks like Akiba. Akiba? Oh, Akiba Habra. I've never actually gone there. <laughs> huh? Why? Well, I've never really had the need. Oh, it's just a bit weird for someone to never go there. and Unless you're a foreigner, that is. <laughs> Maybe we can visit it someday. Yeah. To be honest, I don't feel like going there. Akiba's really far. But if it's for Monica... Seems like we're close to the cafe. It should be a few meters away now. Alright. After a few minutes, we finally reach the place. Oh, it looks very fancy. It's a bit surprising that Sayori would know a place like this, even if it's because of her classmates. But it fits with Monica in a way. Maybe due to her mature, mature atmosphere. So, this is it. To be honest, it's my first time coming to a place like this. Don't worry, we're in the same boat here. <laughs> I guess that makes it better. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to sit inside or outside? Hmm. I guess outside is good. The air feels really nice out here. Alright, let's pick that table then. Monica and I sit down. After a few seconds, a waitress comes to us. Hello, here's the menu. She hands some fancy looking menus to Monica and me. To be honest, I'm not sure what to order. I'll have the omelette sandwiches and black coffee. Understood, omelette sandwiches and black coffee. The waitress write down Monica's order in a small notepad. What will you have, mister? Huh, oh, uh, take a look at the menu. I'll have... Mmm... Burger and soda seems a little too... American restaurant-y for something as fancy as this. Fresh salad and mineral water is pretty plain. We we can go croissant and orange juice. Sure, that sounds interesting. 
A croissant and orange juice. Got it! Quite a normal thing to pick. Why doesn't it surprise me? Well, it just felt like something you'd normally pick in a place like this. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. If you say so. Okay, please wait a moment while your orders arrive. The waitress goes inside the building. Monica and I are left outside with the other customers. Some are already eating, while others are also waiting for their orders. 